What's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Power Platform TV. Today, we're going to talk about searching in Dynamics 365, but specifically, it's going to be searching in views. Okay, so on the screen here, I have my active accounts, so a pretty typical common view, and we have all these fields on the on the account view. We have uh, account name, main phone, address, one city primary contact and email, right? And if I were to go to the top right here and enter in uh, something that I want to search for, when I click into this field here, you can see that it has a specific set of uh, fields that it actually is going to allow me to search on, okay? So uh, for example, the city field is not in this list here, this list in the top right that has the account, you know, the account name, the account number, email, uh, main phone and other phone, right? So that list there is the ones that you can search on, which is different to the ones that you actually see on the screen here. So if I were to search for Seattle, for example, if I sort of if I started to type Seattle here and hit enter, right, uh, you can see it says no data available. And if I did the whole uh, city name here and hit enter, it's the same thing, okay? And it's kind of interesting because in customer service workspace, uh, which I have open here in this other tab. This has a search customer field here, and this actually has, if you go to all records over here, you have this advanced lookup, right? And this advanced lookup is basically a contact lookup that is uh, has accounts and contacts here. And in the account view here, we can see that it's listing out uh, the, the four accounts that I have, but, um, you know, it also has the... The, the city here, and if I were to search here in this one, if I were to search for Seattle here, or I start typing, it actually cannot find it, right? Um, but actually, you, you, you know, it can search for other fields. So we could see here, like with the main phone, uh, this one starts with 446. So if I start to type in 446, then it's going to filter out this record here, right? Uh, this one also has 555 in there. And if I typed 555, that's actually not going to work. And what you need to do is use a wildcard here. So if you put the percent sign in front of that, it's going to find that record there, right? We actually have four records with the 555, right? So basically the system is basically saying, I'm not going to search for through every field for the uh, values that I'm that you're putting into the search box to see if there's a match. It's only going to work for certain fields. So let's look at how we can fix this, or maybe not fix is not the right word, but how we can change it or adjust it or customize it to your customer's requirements or your company's requirements, okay? So the way to do this is you'll want to head over to the Paraps Maker portal over here, and I'm going to jump into the default view, and we'll go and make our uh, change in there. Obviously, you'd want to put this in, in a solution if you can. Um, but yeah, so let's go scroll down here to tables. And then when, once we get to tables, we're going to go to, uh, in this case, the account. Okay, so I'm going to find the account here. And I think I just went past it. Let me go back up here. And then there it is. So if I click on this, and then now I'm going to click on views. And the quick way to get to this here is like, if you select by view type, go uh, from the bottom down, you'll see here this quick find active accounts, right? So you're looking for the quick find view here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click into this view. Let's open this up and take a look. And in the bottom right here, find by, okay? So these are the fields here uh, that is that the system is going to actually look at in order when you enter in text and it's going to try to match against these fields. So these fields, one, two, three, four, five, these are the same five fields. If I were to go back over here and click into the filter by keyword, one, two, three, four, five, right? So these are the same ones here. So all we got to do is uh, click here to edit find table columns and we can search for city here now. And I'm just going to enter, uh, select the first one here, address one city, click apply. It's added it to the list, and now I'm going to go ahead and save and publish, all right? And I've noticed that this save and publish can take a little time. I'm not sure if it's doing a little, uh, some extra stuff in the background perhaps, but, um, you know, be patient with this one. It's just going to take a little bit longer than normal. 
and um, you know it'll come back in a second. And while we're waiting, uh, I'm going to throw this link in the description as well. But this is the blog post that I did that is step-by-step uh, step, uh, going through all of the things that we're talking about here now. Okay, great. So that's saved and published. So now let's go back over to our model-driven app here. I'm going to refresh this. And now if we click into this, we see the address one city, right? So if I started to type in Seattle, this particular control doesn't do it automatically when you're typing. Uh, you have to hit the enter key here. So if I hit enter, it's it's found the match there now, right? So, so that's awesome. That's working. Let's go back over to our customer service workspace. And this time I am just going to refresh the browser here. And... I will refresh a couple of times and then what we'll do is we will create a new chat and then we'll go back into that control and see how it looks. So here I have a sample chat widget. I'm just going to close this out and let's go and start a new chat here. Should get a uh, request coming in for this particular agent in a second. Okay, there is the uh, notification. So let's go into the uh session here and now if i click on to all records let's go to the advanced lookup and here it is so we're on accounts here so now if i just start to type in sea we can see here it's found it right so that's awesome so now we're searching on the city um let's try a different one just for fun so if we do bellevue b-e-l-l -L, then we get the match there and again if we're typing in like uh not the start of the word, right? So if I type in view, I don't get anything. If I do the wildcard, then we get the result coming back, right? So that's how it works. Uh, it's actually, yeah, very simple just to customize this. And uh, I think some people uh, perhaps forget about how to use, uh, how, how to implement this functionality, but it's kind of useful for, for uh, people using the application. Hope you guys enjoyed. So that's it guys, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and of course check out my blog at carldesouza.com. Thank you.